Well, here we are at Smart Energy Expo 2021 at the One Stop Warehouse stand, and there's a lot of tech here and a lot of interesting stuff. So I'm here with Tim, and Tim's going to tell me a bit about these panels. So Tim, what are we standing in front of? We're standing in front of the Longy HiMo 4. Now we're very proud because Longy is our diamond sponsor for the event today, and they've been promoting the HiMo 4. It comes in three panel sizes. So we've got the 395, the 425, and the 350. Um, in a 60, 66 and 72 cell format. You've said that a few times today. I have, I have. <laughs> I couldn't remember all that. Right, so basically Longy Long Long covers a wide range of power ratings and physical size ratings. They do. Yep. And one of the things I was really excited is that Longy came to our warehouse not long ago just to test sizes, to get the guys to lift the panels to see which size would work well in the Australian market. So they really did come to the party to find out what, what Australian installers want to find out from Longy. So did they measure their arms to see how long they are? So no, they gave them test <laughs> panels that were weighted to the right, you know, different oh. sizes. So that was really fascinating. Okay. So I, I think that showed that Longy really is going that extra step to find out what the Australian market wants. So you mentioned the Australian market, do you know how popular these panels are? I know they are very popular, they're probably, Long is probably our biggest seller at One Stop Warehouse, so um, yeah, their, their growth in the market um, has been phenomenal. I've got, I've got quite a lot of these at my facility, as you well know, and uh, I'm very excited by the, the design, the half cut cell, uh, the bifacial ones on a ground mount system definitely performing better because of that uh, albedo effect, um, build quality, the fact that they actually have what looks like quite a thin frame but it's very stiff and so for a ground mount system with a tracker you've actually got very little clamp zone, it's only 400 mils okay. and so there's a lot of panels out in the fresh air which I thought was a problem until I saw the engineering reports from both the tracking company and Longji uh, to show that they've gone through all the wind load tests so they know what their clamp zones can do based on a wind, uh, a wind location. So pretty impressive. Um, so where do you see these fitting in the market in terms of the, the, the three items we have here? Look, I think there's a flexibility of size and that means that the installers can really find the right product for roof size and roof density and really satisfy their clients in what they want for their solar system. So things like, you know, do they have a, uh, a, a roof suitable for rails where you've got 900 mil spacing, so you probably want your, you know, your 1.67 meter long panels versus your 2.1, yep, that sort of issue? Um, I will going to agree with you, Glenn, <laughs> because my job is marketing, and <laughs> not technical. It's funny how size matters, like, you know, the mounting systems are predominantly designed for rail-based systems, yeah. and so if you're putting it onto a corrugated tin roof, you're concerned about where the mounting points are going to be for those rails, which is the, 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 the where the screws are, mm -hmm. and that's going to limit your options to some extent. So when you get really long panels, they can be a bit of a challenge um, for a conventional 900 mil spaced battens. Uh, so that's where this format, the 1.6, 1.7 meter long ones, really, comes, really in. comes in. But the other magic number, as you probably know, is 6.666666 kilowatts. Now, what's that all about? I think that's just um, the perfect size for our domestic um, homes. And so I think we've found that uh, it, 6.6 has grown, it used to be around 5 kilowatt systems, and now 6.6 seems to be the magic number that everybody's installing. So 333 watt modules must be the, the sweet spot. Absolutely. <laughs> the Longy make a 333 watt module, but not in this size. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, oversizing is the name of the game, and you can oversize, you know, oversizing beyond the 133% rule if you have a battery storage system, which is something that One Stop Warehouse have a fair bit to do with. Yeah, we've, um, we're seeing a whole revolution in battery storage. So we're seeing uh, new storage from LG, new storage from SunGrow. So it's been really exciting to see, I guess, the Australian market understand that storage is the next evolution um, in, in solar. Well, that's a good segue. I think we're going to slide over to that storage. Fantastic. Thanks, Thanks Tim. Glenn.